In this video, we will do a few examples of adding and subtracting fractions. To add and subtract fractions, you first need to make sure the two fractions have a common denominator. If necessary, you may need to rewrite one of the fractions, or both, so that they have a common denominator. Second, we'll add the numerators straight across the top, and we'll keep the denominator for the answer. And lastly, we'll simplify. Let's do an example. Example 1, I'm going to add the fraction 1 3rd plus 3 fourths. I see that the two fractions do not share a common denominator, so the first step, I'm going to rewrite both fractions. In this place, I'm going to write an equivalent fraction to the fraction 1 3rd. And over here, I will write an equivalent fraction to 3 fourths. But I need these two fractions to share a common denominator. I look at the number 3 and 4 and ask, what is the least common multiple of these two values? Both 3 and 4 multiply into 12. So that will be my common denominator. I need an equivalent fraction for 1 third that has a denominator of 12. I notice that to change 3 into 12, I multiplied the 3 by 4. In order to keep this fraction exactly the same, I need to multiply the numerator by 4 as well. Notice what I've done is taken 1 third and multiplied it by the number 4 divided by 4. That's just like multiplying by 1, so I didn't change the value of the fraction 1 third. Now 1 third has become 4 in the numerator and 12 in the denominator, and 4 twelfths is the same as 1 third. 3 fourths also needs to be changed to a fraction with denominator 12. The 4 became a 12 by multiplying by 3. Similarly, I need to multiply the numerator by 3. Again, notice this is not changing the value of the fraction 3 fourths. I've simply multiplied by 1. 3 divided by 3 is 1, so I didn't change the value of the fraction 3 fourths. Now my numerator is 9 and my denominator is 12. Now I am adding the fractions 4 twelfths and 9 twelfths, so I get 13 twelfths as my final answer. In the next example, I'm going to add the fraction negative 2 thirds to 7 and 1 sixth. I'm going to rewrite 7 and 1 sixth in, as an improper fraction. That's 43 over 6. Next, I need to get a common denominator for the fraction negative 2 thirds and the fraction 43 sixths. I ask myself, what number do both 3 and 6 multiply into? They have a common multiple of 6. So I will rewrite negative 2 thirds with a denominator of 6. And I notice the second fraction, 43 6, doesn't even need to be rewritten. It will stay with a denominator of 6. To change the denominator of 3, to a denominator of 6, I multiplied it by 2. I need to do the same thing to the numerator. Now I'm going to take the fraction negative 2 thirds, multiply the numerator by 2 to get negative 4, multiply the denominator by 2 to get 6. Now my fractions have a common denominator, and I can add straight across the top, and keep the denominator. 39 over 6 does simplify. 39, I can pull a 3 out of it and get 13. And 6, I can pull a 3 out of it to get 2. So 39 sixths is the same thing as 13 over 2, and that's our final simplified answer. Example 3, I'm going to subtract the fraction.
fraction 7 twelfths minus 5 eighths. I need to get a common denominator. I want to rewrite both fractions to have a common denominator. So I ask myself, what is the smallest number that both 8 and 12 multiply into? I'm going to go with 24. What did I do to the 12 to make it into 24? I multiplied by 2. So I have to do the same to the numerator. 7 times 2 became 14. 12 times 2 became 24. The second fraction, 8, turned into 24. So I must have multiplied by 3. I do the same to the numerator. 5 times 3 became 15. 8 times 3 became 24. And now I have fractions with a common denominator. I now add across the top. 14 minus 15 is negative 1 with a denominator of 24. So my final answer is negative 1 24th. For our last example, I will take negative 2 and 1 third, subtract negative 3 fifths. First, I'll rewrite the number negative 2 and 1 thirds as an improper fraction. 2 and 1 third is equal to 7 thirds. So negative 2 and 1 thirds is negative 7 thirds. Subtracting a negative is the same as adding the positive. So this is just the same as adding 3 fifths. Next, I need to get a common denominator. I have a denominator of 3 and a denominator of 5. So the common denominator would be 15. What did I do to 3 to turn it into 15? I multiplied by 5. The numerator becomes negative 35, while the denominator is 15. And in the second fraction, to turn 5 into 15, I multiplied by 3. So I do the same to the numerator. So the numerator becomes 9, while the denominator becomes 15. Now I add across the top to get negative 26, and I keep the denominator of 15.